Hey kids, it's Sunshine back with another Profit Picks video. I'm still trying to get caught up, but I'm working on it. These are items that I've sold on eBay, Poshmark, and Macari from April 11th through the 17th. So let's get into it. Okay, we're going to start on the 11th. And the first thing to sell was on eBay. It was this unbranded patriotic tie-dye t-shirt in a size 6X. So I picked this up at a small thrift store, paid $3 for it. Thought it was a 2X and would fit my husband. Got home, measured it, went, no, no, no. It was actually a size 6X. Didn't have a size tag in it either. So I think I had it listed for $25, 20 or 25. Someone sent me an offer of 16, which I accepted just to move it out. Next thing to sell was on Macari. It was this Laurel Birch vintage sun quotes picture frame so i picked this up at a small thrift store paid three dollars for it i love anything laurel birch got home the comps weren't that great but i went ahead and listed it i think for 25 dollars within a week i got an offer of 20 which i gladly accepted next thing to sell was on poshmark it was this fresh produce convertible roll cuff capri pants in a size medium so I picked this up at Dollar Days at Goodwill, and I think I had them listed for $30 and ended up sending out an offer to watchers for $24 with discounted shipping, and someone accepted. Next thing to sell was on eBay. It was this New Tags Talbot's Green Linen Blazer in a size 12P, Petite. I've had this forever. I paid $7 for it at Goodwill. Had it probably originally listed at 50, had to keep lowering the price. It was probably at $35. Someone finally sent me an offer of 26. Hallelujah, you can have it. Next thing to sell was on Macari. It was these Prana Cecilia Organic Hemp Knicker sweatpants <laughs> in a size extra large. So I picked these up at my honey hole, paid a dollar for them, got them home. They had some pilling on them, which I had to note. So I think I had them listed for $25. Someone sent me an offer of $22, which I gladly accepted. Next thing to sell was on eBay, and it was this whoosh, rose hip, and something firming sleep mask that I picked up in those baggies at Goodwill. So I'm into it for 50 cents. I had it listed for $18 and $77 with free shipping and someone purchased it. Okay, then we're gonna move on to the 12th. And the first thing to sell was on eBay. It was this New World Market Lucky Nutcracker that I picked up at a small thrift store, paid $6 for. It was brand new. It was so unique and cool. He had the cards in his hand. He had some poker chips. He was just amazing. So I had him listed for $49. Oh, I couldn't find any comps either. And he was from World Market. So I had him listed for $49.77, wasn't gonna budge on it. And it didn't take but a couple months for somebody to purchase it at that price. And she loves it. Okay, next thing to sell is on Macari. It was the North Face Ambition Mid-Rise Crop Leggings in a size large. So I paid $5 for these at Goodwill. Had them listed for $25. Someone sent me an offer of $20, which I gladly accepted. Okay, and the next items are all on eBay. First thing was this new Tags Foundry Patriotic Flag Cargo Board Shorts in a size 3XL. So I paid $6.50 for these at Goodwill because of the flag print. I know the brand is a no brand. I mean, it's a low brand, but whatever. Had them listed for probably $30.00. Someone sent me an offer of 25, which I accepted because they're in Canada and they bought American flag shorts. So probably they're an expat, I don't know. Okay, next thing to sell was this vintage Jams World blue Hawaiian Hattie Ruffo Hem dress in a size large. So I picked this up at Goodwill, paid $5 for it. I think I had it listed for $75. And what's funny is, okay, Somebody sent me an offer of 60, which I accepted. Why? Because they're in Hawaii. So they bought a Hawaiian dress for me and it's going right back to Hawaii. I thought that was cool. So that's why I accepted the $60 offer. Okay, next thing to sell is this Bryn Walker Luella Chartreuse Linen Midi Dress in a size large. 
So I picked this up at Goodwill, paid $7 for it, had it listed for $64.77, and that's what it sold for. Okay, and then I sold some personal care, which I don't say on here. Next thing to sell was this L.L. Bean. Oh, actually, this person purchased three items, so I bundled them together and refunded her shipping costs, so the next three items are for the same person. First thing was this L.L. Bean fleece line, flannel shacket in a size large. Picked this up at Goodwill, paid $5 for it. I think I had it listed at $35. She sent me an offer of $31.01, which I gladly accepted. Next thing was this time and true plaid, blue plaid, sleeveless three-fourth button top in a size large. I also picked this up at Goodwill, paid $3 for it. I think she sent me the offer. Either she sent me the offer or I sent her an offer for $24, and that's what it sold for. And the last thing she purchased were these cool Skechers Easy Flex 2 Rainbow Weave Slip-On Sneakers in a size 10 that I paid $7 for at Goodwill. What's cool is I just picked up another pair, and I think they're in the same size, but the ones she purchased were better condition. So I think I had them listed for $50. Ended up sending her an offer of $44.93, which she accepted. So I'm into all three of these items for $15. And uh, looks like the bundle was like around 80. So that was a good return. Okay, then we're gonna move on to the 13th after having some espresso. And the first thing to sell was on Macari. It was this new tags cut from the cloth, high rise, stack button, boyfriend shorts in a size 20W. So I picked these up at a small thrift store, paid $6 for them. I think I had them listed for $35 or $40. Got sick of looking at them. So when somebody sent me an offer of $30, I gladly accepted. Next thing sells on eBay, it was this Lucky Brand Stripe Flutter Sleeves Peasant Top in a size large. Paid $3 for this at Goodwill because it was so stinking cute, but Lucky Brand just does not sell for anything. It's sad because I really love their style. So I think I had it listed for 20. Someone sent me an offer of 14, which I accepted because of that reason. Next thing sell was on Poshmark. It was these Maurice's Denim Flex Mid-Rise Bootcut Jeans in a 13-14. I picked these up at a small thrift store, paid $6 for them. I think I had them listed for $25. Someone sent me an offer of $18, which I accepted. Okay, and then the last thing to sell was on Macari. It was these new tags, Wrangler, five-star carpenter jean shorts in a size 44. I picked these up at a small thrift store, paid $6 for them. I think I actually had these listed for $25, and that's what they sold for I love Wrangler jeans. I mean, a lot of people love Levi's. I like Wranglers. Okay. Then we're going to go on to the 14th. First thing to sell was on Poshmark. And it was this L. Espelon Tequila Logo Muscle Tank at a size medium. I picked this up at a small thrift store, paid $3. Thought it might be worth something. No. It had a cool graphic print. It had like chickens on top of chickens. I don't know. You'll see it in the picture. It was a really out there print. So I had it listed for $20. Someone sent me an offer of 15, which I gladly accepted to move it out. Okay. Next thing sells on eBay. It was this new, these new tags, Rika, Tiana, coral and turquoise cushioned walking sneakers in a size 10. I purchased these on eBay a few years ago for $18 because I was going to use them. Then I never ended up wearing them. So I think I had them listed for $35. Someone sent me an offer of $29.99, which I gladly accepted. Okay, next thing sells on Macari, and it was this new Panhandle Slim Horses Border across here. Pearl Snap Shirt in a women's size extra large. So I picked this up at a thrift store, paid $7 for it. Had it listed for $35. Someone sent me an offer of $28, which I gladly accepted. It was really cool with the, those horses running across there. Okay, next thing to sell was on eBay. It was this unbranded comfort waist built-in panty swim shorts in a size 3XL. They were so cool. They had like a tie-dye around the waistband. Really beautiful, I thought. 
Okay, so I picked them up at Goodwill, paid $4 for them. I think I had them listed at $25. Someone sent me an offer of $22, which I gladly accepted. What's cool is I just found another pair. I'm not sure if they're in the same size, but that was really weird that I found another pair probably within months of each other. Okay, next thing to on Poshmark, it was this vintage Richard L. Embroidered fish with rainbow buttons, maxi dress in a size large. So it was black. And then it had the embroidered neon fish up here and on the hem. And like rainbow button details down the side. Really cool. Picked it up at my honey hole, paid $2 for it. I don't know if I had it listed for $25 or $30. Wasn't getting a lot of traction. So when someone finally sent me an offer of $17, hallelujah, you can have it. And the last thing on that day, sold on eBay. It was these Bongo Mid-Rise Destruction Bootcut Jeans in a size 10. That were mine that I no longer fit in thanks to COVID. So I think I had them listed for $20. Someone sent me an offer of $13.42, which I accepted to move them out. Okay, then we're gonna move on to the 15th after we have some more espresso. And the first thing to sell was on eBay. It was the 7-7 Mid-Rise Distressed Bermuda Shorts in a size 10. So I picked these up at Goodwill, paid $3 for them because I love my 7-7 just like I love the Wrangler. Had them listed for $19.77 and that's what they sold for. Next thing to sell were these new tags, Sofia Vergara. Baggy Boyfriend Destruction Jesus, size 6. Paid $3 for these at Goodwill uh, because of the style. I didn't even know she sold jeans, but anyway. So I think I had them listed. Oh, I had them listed for $26.77, and that's what they sold for. Would I pick them up again? Probably not. Well, maybe if they're new with tags. Okay, next two items uh, sold on Poshmark. First thing was this soft surroundings tinsel denim shirt in a size 1X. I paid $5 for this at Goodwill, got tons of attention across all three platforms, tons of lowball offers, and it had a button missing on the bottom, but luckily it came with extra buttons. It's just, I'm not going to sew that. So I had it listed for $40, maybe $45, I can't remember. But I ended up sending out an offer to Watchers for $36 with discounted shipping, and someone accepted and the next thing to sell were these Crocs Isabella T-strap jelly sandals in a size 11 that I picked up at Goodwill, paid $5 for. Those of you that watch my previous videos, you know I'm getting out of the Croc business, but this is a style that I will be on the lookout for. So I think I had them listed for $35 and that's what they sold for. I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that was a full price sale. Okay, next items were on eBay. This new with tags, Jude Connolly, Trixie Palazzo pants in a size medium. So I picked these up at a small thrift store, paid $6 for them because of the mod 70s print. Got home and did some research and he actually has some good resale value. So I listed them along with the comps at $59.77. Got tons of attention, got tons of lowball offers. It's like, nope, just what I want for them. So they ended up selling for my full asking price. Next thing to sell was this Maxine Princess Seam swim dress in a size 18 that I picked up at a small thrift store, paid $2 for. I'm not sure what the whole Princess Seam thing is, but it had a cute little flare-like skirt. So I had it listed for $29.77 and that's what it sold for. And the next thing to sell was this five piece High rise bike shorts in a size medium. That were mine that I no longer fit in. Thank you, COVID. So I sent them out to auction for $3.77. And that's what they sold for. But that's okay. They're out of my house. Okay, next thing to sell were these two Chinese laundry woven leather belts in a size large that I picked up for a dollar at a yard sale a long, long time ago. <laughs> so I got to take a look at them. Sent them out to auction for $6.77, and that's what they sold for. But I still made, you know, some money and got them out of my house. Okay, next thing to sell was this vintage Christian Albright 
I'm not sure I'm saying that right, golf nutcracker smoker that I picked up at Goodwill, paid $2 for. His beard was so soft. I don't know what that's made out of, but oh my God, it was so soft. Then I get it home, he's a golfer, and the golf ball was loose. I wasn't gonna glue it down. So I just noted that, had it listed for $49.77, and that's what it sold for. And it was in its original box. Okay, next thing to sell were these Keen Clean Water, Clear Water, Clean Water, Clear Water, CNX Hiking Sandals in a size 11. So I picked these up at Goodwill, paid $5 for them, had them listed for $34.77, and that's what they sold for. And the next thing to sell was this Kyadan quarter zip pullover sweater fleece in a size medium that I picked up at a small thrift store a long time ago. Paid $4 for it, thought it would have some resale value. I'll never pick up that brand again. So I got to take a look at it, sent it out to auction for $3.77. Hallelujah, somebody finally bought it. Last thing to sell was on Poshmark. It was these Vans animal print platform high top sneakers and a seven and a half that I picked up at my honey hole, paid $2 for. I had tons of attention across all three platforms. Another one where there's low ball after low ball after low ball. It's like, nope, 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 nope. In fact, one person hit me up on all three platforms. Like, I don't know who you are. So I had them listed for $45. That's what they sold for. Okay, then we're gonna move on to the 16th. I had a few sales. And it looks like they're all on eBay. First thing was this Kalisa embroidered linen blend tunic top in a size 2X that I paid up for at Goodwill. I paid $7 because it had embroidery everywhere. It reminded me of Johnny Was, and I've never heard of this brand, but it actually had some good resale value. So I listed it a little lower than the comps at $39.77, and that's what it sold for. Be looking out for that brand. It's C A L. E-S-S-A. Okay, next thing to sell is this new Cactus Bay Sedona Rhinestones Knit Top in a size extra large that I picked up at Goodwill, paid $6 for. I love Cactus Bay. They're three-four sleeve. They usually have this graphic all over them and rhinestones. This one was Sedona, Arizona. What's cool is I had it listed for $29.77. Somebody in Canada purchased it for my full price. She said she'd been to Sedona and she loved it. So now she has a little piece of it. Okay, next thing to sell is this American, this is a surprising sale. This American Living, a Southwestern belted cardigan in a size small that I picked up at Goodwill, paid $5 for. Got home and found out it's like a Ralph Lauren brand and it had some good resale value. So I think I had it listed for $40. Someone sent me an offer of 35, which I gladly accepted. And the next thing to sell were these three on-the-go first aid travel bags that were mine that I wasn't using. I got them free a while ago at Target. Target was giving them for free when you purchase certain items. So I bundled them together, listed them for $24.77, and that's what they sold for. Okay, then on the 17th, I only had one sale. And it was this vintage Serban linen blend embroidered butterflies maxi dress in a size medium. Picked this up at a yard sale a long time ago, paid $2 for it. Really beautiful. I mean, it was just amazing. The butterfly embroidery was beautiful. You'll see it in the picture. So I think I had it listed for $35. Someone sent me an offer of $30, which I gladly accepted. Okay, kids, that's it for my profit picks video for the week. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing and I'll see you on the next one.